So we're gonna start into a child pose today. So you wanna open the knees wide, and if you can, bring in your big toes touching together. If you have sensitive knees, maybe place a blanket below the knees, and then when you're ready, start to fold over. Start to walk your hands forward, stretch into the arms, releasing your hips all the way back, and then resting your forehead on the ground. If for whatever reason your forehead doesn't touch the ground, you're still a little bit lifted, that's fine, no worries. Take either a block, maybe a pillow, a folded blanket, so you can rest your forehead into something. And then can of really start feeling of releasing the body completely down. Taking a moment to wiggle into your pose, if you need to wiggle your hips, if you need to wiggle through the shoulders, maybe a little bit waving right and left. And then finding your pose, resting your whole body down. Start to feel your breath into the pose. And child poses together with Shavasana, one of my favorite poses to start to practice with. And the gesture of folding over, closing towards yourself, curling in, drawing in. Really reflect beautifully what the practice is about. And it's mainly about coming back to ourself. And I really like saying that the practice is walking ourselves whole. And a gesture of closing in towards ourselves, rounding the spine. Releasing the forehead into the earth. Really give that sense of safety first. But also of coming back to us. So much often towards, during our daily life, we keep projecting towards the outside. We keep distracting ourselves from stimulus coming from outside. We keep ourselves busy with so many things that sometimes we lose connection with ourselves. We lose our roots. We lose the connection with our roots that really connect us down into the earth and keep us steady and grounded, but also keep us safe and fine into our body. So starting to practice here into this pose and notice how your body feels. Starting to come at home to yourself and start to feel at ease with your own body, into your own skin. Start to welcome any sensation you feel, whether you did a great job yesterday working out, whether you've been sitting for too long, maybe not a nice chair, and your lower back is reclaiming some attention, some extra love from you tonight. And really start to move your breath through the whole body. Start, so to say, to massage your whole body with your breath. Feeling the breath riding through the back of the body, all the way down to your lower back. Maybe starting to melt some of the tension you've been holding in with every out breath you take. And also the gesture of bowing the head down into the earth, of releasing the forehead into something, pressing slightly and gently, the space in between your eyebrows, really help your whole nervous system to slow down, to shift from a maybe hyperactive nervous system towards a more relaxed and restore system we're triggering your relaxation response, your parasympathetic nervous system. And instead of being always active on searching for paris or threat, we can relax more and rejuvenate one from within. Being into a more physical space, physical level, all the healing process that needs to be done and processed for our body to stay healthy, and fine, but also to a more deeper level within and a mental space. 
So we're gonna be taking three more full deep breaths here, notice. Softening every time a little bit more when you breathe out. Letting your body really sink towards the earth. Feeling your hips become a little bit heavier. Take another full deep breath. From here, maybe you can take up that pillow. Bring your fingertips on the mat. So I like it to call it spider hands. Lift the elbows, lift the wrist, but keep the connection of your seating bones back with your heels. From here, start to walk your hands towards the left hand side. Walk as much as you feel like, don't feel you need to overdo any movement. But again, keep inhabiting your own body. Keep avoiding your sensation, honoring your body and how it feels when you move. Walk your hands as much as you feel and then breathe into the right hand side of the body. Feeling your right shoulder opening up. Feeling the breath expanding into your right side of the ribcage. Softening through the neck. Take another full deep round of breath. On your inhale, walk your hands back to center, still on your fingertips. And on your exhale, walking your hands towards the right hand side, finding your counter twist. Start to awaken the side of the body. Feel the left shoulder, the left side of the chest, the left sitting bone kissing through the left heel. Take another full deep breath. Feel that nice stretch and opening. Deep exhale. Inhale, walking your hands all the way back to center. Resting your hands, your elbows, release your forehead. Taking a full deep breath here, notice what shifted compared to before. Then gently walking your hands backwards below the shoulders, pressing yourself all the way up. Walking your hands forward and we find a tabletop position. So bringing your knees below the hips, grounding through the hands, imagine you're diving roots from the hands into the earth, inner elbow rolling forward, sliding the shoulders off the ear so we lengthen through the neck. We ground the shin so we press the shin back and down. And then inhale, start to lift the heart forward, tilt the pelvis forward, open through the chest, lift the gaze. On the exhale, we round the back, we move the navel in towards the spine, we move the chin towards the chest, and we zoom through the upper back. On the inhale again, we roll the spine open, tilting the pelvis forward, looking upwards. On the exhale, counter movement really around your whole back body. And feeling both sides. So feeling the, on the inhale, the front of the body expanding, stretching and opening. And then on the exhale, feeling and breathing into the whole back body. We take two more, my lovely yogis. Inhale, arch, open. Exhale, round. And feeling every tiny bit movement into the body. Last one, moving with fluid like you're dancing between poses. When you're coming, inhale, coming back to center. And then on the coming exhale, we start to walk the hands forward as much as you feel like and it feels good for yourself. We move into Anahatas in a hard melting pose. Start to open through the chest and start to gently soften the forehead down. If the forehead is lifted, fine. Don't make yourself a big deal out of it. And letting the chest soften towards the ground. Keep your hips on top of your knees. Maybe if you're very flexible, let the chin move towards the ground. If you feel tension into the shoulders, open your hands a little bit wider. And we breathe here for three or four deep breaths. And together with the lower back, the shoulders are one of the other parts where we feel most tight. Maybe due to our posture of the long hours we spend at a computer or on the phone. 
So through this pose, we really want to start the energy be flowing again through the energy channels into the arms, connecting to the heart space. So that most of the breath can flow deeper and more freely into the heart space, into the chest. Take another full, deep round of breath. And then on the inhale, slowly walking your hands backwards, finding your tabletop. Taking a moment to notice how your body feels, how your breath is. Tucking your toes under and on your coming exhale, shifting the hips back up into your first downward facing dog pose. Checking your feet or hip distance, here yeah, is. And then connect to the sensation of your hands, fully spreading your hands wide, connecting your old ten fingers with the earth beneath you. And then maybe keeping a gentle bend into your knees. Or start to stretch your legs if there is room for that. Maybe start to pedal your legs, even bending one knee and stretching the other, going on the opposite way around. Keep tilting the pelvis forward. And we take two more full, deep breaths. One more breath. Inhale. Walking your hands backwards here, it's towards the back of the mat. And walking your hands towards your feet. Allow your knees to bend. Allow your upper body to soften towards the ground, let the head go. And either you hold it here or you hook one hand to the opposite elbow. You keep releasing the crown of the head all the way down. You hold it here or you wait right and left. Now stretching one more through the side of the body, through the back body. Give it one more full deep round of breath. And then stop into center. Release the arms. Keep arms really loose. You bend the knees. Connecting again with your roots through the feet, inhale, keep the knees bent, and then slowly start to roll the spine up, vertebra by vertebra. Take all the time you need so you're not rushing, gazing forward, the leg gaze is the last to lift, rolling the shoulders forward, up, back, and down, rolling the palm forward, and then taking a moment to notice if you feel more steady and grounded by keeping your feet hip distance or by closing your feet together and play with it with it if you know it already take the position you feel the best if you don't know experiment take the time to see how your body feels when your feet are hip distance rooting through the heels through the balls of the feet Round into the toes. And notice how your body feels when you close your feet together, connecting your big toes, creating a little bit of space between your heels. And especially if you are a visual person, really imagine roots digging down into the earth from your feet beneath. And really feel like those roots are holding you tight to the earth, are keeping you steady and grounded. So at the same time, you do have the strength and you do have the energy to float and rise all the way up to the crown of the head. So feeling that stability of the pose, even though you're not moving, notice what happens within. Notice the sensations of your skin, the muscle, tendons. Notice the warmth of your body. Inhabit whole of those sensations. Come back to your breath, to your heartbeat. And notice if you can use the sensations to guide your home. Instead of pulling you away and far from your home, take another full deep breath. If your eyes were closed, blink your eyes open, gazing forward. Inhale, reaching the arms all the way up 
towards the sky, palms touching. And the exhale, bending through the knees, maybe gently opening through the arms, folding over into a forward fold. Release the head. And again, notice as you bow, if immediately your mind starts talking about how bendy you are, or is that if you inhabit that movement, that pose, without commenting, without having your mind immediately shifting into a judging mode? Inhale, left and halfway forward, crown of the head reaching forward, hands on the floor on the shin. Exhale, we walk the hands forward and we take it into downward facing dog. Allow your feet to open hip distance, throw the navel in and keep releasing the head back. Take a deep breath in and a long and deep breath out. Releasing your knees back down, you're releasing to your tabletop pose. Finding your space there, finding the space on the mat. And then on the inhale, reaching the left arm all the way up towards the sky. On the exhale, we thread it all the way under the right. Releasing the left shoulder down as we release the left shake down and left side of the forehead. Keeping the right hand on the floor, we're reaching the right arm all the way up towards the sky. Maybe you choose to remain there. Maybe you bring the right hand on your lower back. And using that healing touch of your hands to move the breath into the lower back. Maybe working a little bit more into the right shoulder, hooking the right hand to the left outer hip, opening the right shoulder back and up, and take another full deep breath into the pose. Inhale. Reaching the right arm all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, right hand goes all the way down. On the inhale, we press into the right hand to create a space for the left arm to rise all the way up. Exhale, left hand coming back down and we're back to tabletop. Take a deep breath in, breath out. On the inhale, reaching the right arm all the way up, we change side. Exhale, we thread the right arm all the way under and through the left. Release your right shoulder down. Maybe walk your hand a little bit more out. Find that spin into the spine. So we're twisting through the back to the spine. You can choose to leave the left hand down, or you start reaching the left arm all the way up towards the sky. And again, honor the differences into the body. Right doesn't need to be equal than left. Maybe one side is more open. Maybe we change the region of the hand and that's fine. Welcome it, acknowledge that. Maybe left and into your lower back. Maybe left and into your right outer hip. And again, once you're set, come back to the breath. Breathing in, breathing out. Take another full deep breath here. Inhale, so to release the left arm all the way up. Exhale, connecting that left hand into the floor, press it down. Inhale, reach the right arm all the way up. And then on the exhale, releasing the right hand down. Now you're just closing your knees together. And if it does feel nice for your knees, sit back. If for whatever reason, the position does not work for your knees, there is no big deal, absolutely fine. You can find a cross seat leg position. From here, we're gonna start working with the arms and the upper body. Release the arms alongside the body, but keep length of the spine all the way up. From here, on the inhale, we shift the weight forward, we lift, we move the hips on top of your knees, we spread the arms open. Maybe we bend the elbow, we lift the chest up, we look up. And then on the exhale, we sit back. We round the back, we have our self right elbow, we lift the left and we draw in. Inhale, shifting forward, open, taking a gentle back bend, finding that space into the body, finding that energy you want to draw in. And then on the exhale, we got that energy, left elbow under the right, we curl in. Like you're drawing, you're soaking in that energy you're receiving. One more per side. Inhale, open. Left, expand, feel the breath. Exhale, ground, feel that hug 
of your hands and then your arms into yourself, right elbow under. Last one, inhale, flowing forward, opening up, opening the throat. Exhale, left elbow under. We round, we take a moment here. Notice how it feels to be hugging yourself, to be coming back home, feeling, feeling your body, embracing yourself like a nice and warm healing out from a friend, from a family member. Take another full deep breath here. And then on the inhale, we lengthen the spine, we release arms. We're taking a moment to soak in that energy, to breathe into that space where we really care and hold ourselves. When you're ready, walking your hands forward, spreading through the fingers, tucking your toes, shifting the hips up and back, and it's again downward facing dog. Now every time you move into the pose, no matter how it looks, feel it. Feel the arms pressing forward and down. Feel your feet pressing down and back. Looking forward, and then start to walk your feet forward, taking as many steps as you feel like. Closing the feet together, or hip distance if you feel you're more steady, that's your pose. Inhale, left and halfway forward, crown of the head reaching forward. Exhale, bowing down, releasing all the way to the earth. And the inhale, root to rise, reaching the arms all the way up, palms touching above your head. Exhale, draw that beautiful energy down into the heart space. And then taking a moment there, feel your breath, feel your heart of it. If you did set an intention for your practice, for yourself, come back to that intention. And when you're ready, release your arms along to the body, looking forward. Take a deep breath in as you keep holding that space for yourself. Deep breath out. Inhale, reaching the arms all the way out, sweeping up. Exhale, bowing forward and down into your forward fold. Inhale, left and halfway forward. Exhale, hands down. Take a big step back with both feet, plank pose. Shoulders on top of your hips. Shoulders on top of your wrist, hips in line with your shoulders. Exhale, knees go down. Bend the elbows, lower all the way down with control. Touch the earth. Inhale, float the heart forward and up for your Cobra Bhujangasana. Exhale, tuck the toes, yogi, shift back. Child pose. Letting your hips sink back. Stretching through the arms and notice if this pose maybe feels slightly different than before at the beginning. And always remember, you can come back to this pose whenever you feel like. Sometimes we joke between yogis that when your mind is really spinning and you're having a really hard time, drop into chaya pose. It really helps bringing you down. And that's one of the reasons it's no chance that you're bowing to Earth's earth. You're drawing energy down from the earth, and the energy of the earth is really cooling. It's grounding, it's stabilizing. Take another full breath. Inhale, shifting forward, tabletop. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog, reaching the hips up and back. And again, it's no chance that the earth is our home. Provides us food, give us the ground to walk on. Take another full, deep round of breath. Looking forward between your hands, that's the direction you're moving forward. Walk your feet forward, close your feet together. Connect to your feet, inhale left and halfway forward, short navel in, open the chest. Exhale, bowing all the way down into your forward fold, Uttanasana. 
Inhale again, root down to rise all the way up. Fly up. Exhale, hands through the heart. And then Samastiti. Releasing the arms, the long side of the body. Another beautiful name of this pose is mountain pose. So if you can imagine a mountain, think of a quality you can come up with thinking of a mountain. So notice how steady and rooted and solid the mountain is. And it doesn't mean it cannot grow tall or high. Quite the opposite. Because of that foundation, because it really feels grounded, it can go up to the sky. And in the same way, we, we want to inhabit those qualities through this pose. We're engaging into the lower body and you're flying all the way up into the upper body till the crown of the head. Feeling home to yourself, feeling steady into your pose. Take another full, deep breath. If you close your eyes, blink them open. Inhale, reaching the arms all the way up towards the sky, looking up. Exhale, bowing forward and down into your forward fold, moving from the hips. And if your lower back is hurting, maybe gentle bend into your knees, that's always a great option. Inhale, left and halfway forward. Exhale, we take a big step back your knees for the right foot. So set the right leg all the way back. And then we release your right knee down and tuck the toes. Left knee on top of the left ankle. On the inhale, we sweep the arms all the way up. Moving the shoulders on top of the hips. Ground through the left foot. Keep pressing back through the right shin. Shifting the hips forward so we reach the shoulders back and we breathe into that right upper thigh. So that's a nice part we want to stretch because of by holding the sit for too long through our days, we go into a lot of flexion of the thigh over the hip. So it's a very nice way to create space into the body, to create room of motion, to let the energy flow, move around. Inhale, reach the arms up, maybe look up. And exhale, release the hands on the floor. And that's the moment you can either take the hands down, maybe fingertips, if you have the blocks, grab the blocks. Inhale, left and open through the chest. On the exhale, we rock the hips back and we stretch the left leg. We do it one more. Inhale, wave it forward, lift the chest, open the heart. Exhale, rock the hips back. Now try to stretch the left leg as much as you go. If it doesn't go, just fine, leave it. Walk your hands backwards. Inhale, lift the chest. And if you feel fine, don't force yourself. Allow yourself to bow forward. Again, one more closing over yourself. Try to keep your hips lifted so you're not dropping your right glutes back towards your heels. And then you rest the head down. Breathing into the whole space behind the uh, thigh, your hamstring, your calf. Notice the space you're creating into the back left leg. Inhale, we lift it up in the chest. On the exhale, we bend the left knee and we walk the hands back to center. We tuck the toes under, right knee goes up. And then we set the left leg all the way back for a downward facing dog pose. We hold it here, choosing to stay. Or we choose to flow into one vinyasa, inhale plank. Exhale, knees down. Bend through the elbows, lower all the way down. Cobra on the in breath. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Exhale. So vinyasa as always are optional. Don't feel like you need to do it. Really give yourself grace. Don't feel like you need to do all the poses. But really notice what feels good for you. If you're tired, feel free to skip it. If you feel like you want to go a little bit for it, go for it. Gazing forward. Walk your feet forward again. Keep your hips high, grounding and pressing through the hands. Left and halfway forward in breath. Exhale, folding in, exhale. 
reaching the arms all the way up, opening, exhale, hands to the heart. And again, breathe into that energy that holds between your hands in front of the heart. And then we move to the second side. Inhale, reaching the arms all the way up. Exhale, folding forward and down. Adjust the knees when you need. Inhale, left and halfway forward. Exhale, bend to the knees. Left leg goes all the way back. And I release the left knee down this time. Right knee on top of your ankle. Maybe you help with your right hand to slide the foot forward. Untuck the toes. And then on the inhale, we rise all the way up into our beautiful low lunge, Anjana Yasana. Mind that you're not lifting through the shoulders. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears so you're lengthening through the neck. You're reaching the arms all the way up. You're breathing through the left upper thigh. Feeling a nice stretch into that area. We take another breath. Maybe we look upwards, opening through the neck, through the throat. And then exhale, releasing the hands all the way down. Fingertips, maybe blocks. Inhale, lift and open the chest. Exhale, wiggle the hips back. And then stretch through the right leg, flexing through the foot. Inhale, bending through the front knee, lifting the heart forward, opening. Exhale, wiggling the hips back. And this time we hold. Walk the hands back or the blocks. If you're using blocks, that's great. We hold it up. It can be already enough and already intense. Or inhale, we lift. Exhale, we ripple forward and we close over. Keep the elbows bent and keep sliding the shoulders off the ears. Breathing into the back of your right leg. Take another full deep round of breath. Lovely. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend the front knee. Walk your hands forward. Tuck the left as under. Pop the left knee off the mat. And then we set the right foot all the way back for Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Press your head back. Option to stay, great, hold it. Option to ripple forward into a plank pose, inhale. Exhale, knees go down. We bend through the elbows, we lower all the way down. Cobra on the E breath. Tucking the toes under, downward facing dog, reaching the hips up and back. Rest your head. And again, we take a full, deep round of breath. We feel our whole body, how it feels. The upper body, the lower body, the front body and the back body. And then we look forward. We walk the feet forward, yogis, we cross the shin. And then we sit back and down. We stretch the arms, sorry, we stretch the legs forward. And we flex the feet. Now start to lengthen the spine all the way up. If you notice, your lower back tend to curl back. No problem, sit on a block or sit on a folded blanket, even better. So your hips are a little bit lifted and it helps tilting the pelvis forward. Flexing through the feet, connecting the back of your legs into the earth. Inhale, reaching the arms all the way up, sipping the belly in. Exhale, folding over and down. Let go of your head. Rest your shoulders. And again, once more coming back to the position where you're folding over, kind of embracing yourself into this pose. And it doesn't matter if your chest and your thighs are very far from each other. Allow your upper body to gently soften towards your earth. This is a very good cause for your back, for any tension there. If you're just here, and still by breathing through the back, you're creating space into the fascia, into the muscle. We're gonna be taking two more full deep rounds of breath. One more breath.
Inhale, yogis. Slowly using your hands, rolling yourself back up. Left hand just fine for a moment, hands to the side of the hips. Exhale, we bend through both knees. We place your feet into the floor. We slide the hips gently forward. And then through the spine, we hold the core, we hold the navel, and we roll the spine back. One vertebra by the time. Taking a moment to rest your spine back and then drawing your knees into the chest. Taking a nice moment, squeezing your knees in, shoulders away from the ears. And then we stretch the left leg all the way forward. Keep the left foot relaxed, draw your right knee into the chest. Now we spread the right arm open in line with your shoulder or a cactus, your right arm. Left hand to the outer right knee, exhale. We take a twist towards the left. So we bring the right knee towards the left hand side. For me, the knee is lifted, that's fine. So don't think that you need to bring the knee on the mat or on the ground. Move into breath, get into your spine, into your back. This is also a very good pose to release tension into the back or into the chest or the shoulders. Take another full deep breath. Inhale. Bring your right knee back to center. And then bring your left knee in as well. Now, we stretch the right leg forward and we squeeze the left knee into the chest. And then we bring the left arm open or cactus, right hand to the outer left knee. And with your own time, we take a twist towards the right. And again, this time, maybe feel stiff front. Don't force it. And remember that every movement is a way for you to come back to yourself. Not to prove anything to anyone or even to yourself but rather it's a way to listen, to get closer to your true self, that quiet space within. One more breath. Releasing your twist, bringing both knees back into the chest. We have the knees in yoga, so we move the forehead towards your knees, we take a deep, deep breath in, hold it in, for the count of five, four, three, two, one. Deep side it out through the mouth. Gonna release your whole body into Shavasana pose. Release into arms alongside the body. Take the space you need. So don't feel like you need to keep your arms very close to the body. Go wider if you need more space. Same goes for the legs. So I like to place my legs a little bit wider than my hips. So play along, shift around. Notice how it feels for every option you take. And then tilt the chin towards the chest, release your head backwards. If you have anything hangy, empty around you, maybe place something on your belly, like a folded blanket, maybe a pillow. That's really nice again to soothe you down, to relax you deeper. Close your eyes if it feels fine. And then release your whole body down. Leg of your arms, your legs, your whole body weight. And then rest into the space, into stillness.
very slowly release. Coming back to your body, to your breath. Start to wiggle your toes, your fingers. Moving your head right and left. Taking a moment maybe to stretch your body. And then gently, one by one, drawing your knees into your chest. Squeezing your knees in. Crawl into the right hand side of the body into your fetal position. That pose that really embody your full potential. The idea of rising again, starting in you. And then when you're ready with the help of your hands, slowly finding your way back up into your seated pose. Taking a moment to arrive, rooting down through the seating bones, digging deep roots into the earth beneath you, and finding that space to rise, to blossom all the way up. Feeling and breathing that sensation of feeling safe into your body, feeling at home. Close the practice by drawing the hands in front of the heart, one into the other. With that gesture of gratitude, deep gratitude towards yourself for showing up tonight, for guiding yourself home. And once that you're fully on, you can share your energy again with the world outside, sharing your energy with the people around you, inviting your colleague to join the practice, bowing your head to your heart, honoring your inner self. And until next time, yogis, namaste.